What we're trying to do is to, is to bring this wonderful resource, this international resource, into a state where it can be seen much more widely. At the moment, we're, it's here, it's very beautiful as you've seen, but it's, it's not visited by as many as would appreciate it. Uh, and it's where Burns wrote so many important pieces. And it's the only building that Burns himself was responsible for building. I mean, he put, we've actually got the contracts of how many slates he got, how many nails. So the idea is to build a proper visitor centre which would be a wee bit away from the actual historic site, probably about 200 yards, just enough to make a wee bit of a break, and would have the museum with the precious documents, the manuscripts, uh, we have his rod, we have his flute, objects to do with them are properly in a museum context. And then we can actually have the buildings that he built more accessible to the, the public to come and see them as if that's where the Burns family lived, that's where he, he grew up and he had his kids were born here, his wife lived here. So it's much more humane and it's much less cluttered. The new bill will be, uh, have bits of it, ideas about it are very familiar. You know, the idea that it will wrap around a new courtyard space, like these buildings wrap around this, and there's a courtyard just beyond here, the cattle courtyard. It'll be separated though, uh, to maintain the setting of this. So it won't crowd in on the existing buildings. Then we're going to use the paddock, the space here, the, where the stone walls are here, as a, as a, as a separator. And, and then beyond that will be the visitor centre. So close enough to have all the facilities you, you can get to, uh, toilets, a cafe and a dedicated exhibition, but distant enough to be respectful uh, of the setting of this, of this courtyard.